So there's what I like to think of as two types of key benefits of the tool. Um, the first and foremost key benefit is we provide a data-driven uh, decision layer um, to the test management. We, we provide risk-based testing um, based on the actual data of an organization, not, for instance, the sentiment, the experience, or the feeling of testers that have just done this before. The other side of it is going through a lot of the data to build the AI capability, um, to, to perform the feature engineering and feature selection required to generate the test prediction for an organization. We start to see a lot of other data insights, for instance, in identifying um, which tests are likely to pass or fail, we start to see things like, well, which modules are more problematic than others? Which testers have a good or a bad track record at finding defects? Where are the test cases that never find any value? For instance, if this test has, for the last 25 runs, not been likely to fail, is that test actually truly adding any value anymore? Is it testing something that's fundamentally stable, or is it a test that doesn't look in enough detail to start to find issues?